science. All right. Good to see you guys. Those of I, uh, you, the faces that I do see, Sarah, Beth, and John and Diane, I'm sure that's who that is. Um, glad everyone's here. All right. Well, we will start, um, I think, kind of how we usually do. I'm going to throw in a couple different things today, but um, we're just going to kind of start working from top, around our neck, shoulders, moving kind of midline, and even do, uh, maybe do a little bit of a hip opener seated, and then we'll come to standing, build some fire, build some heat through some uh, standing movements. And then we'll go to the floor and um, do, do a few of our floor postures. And then um, from the feedback that I've gotten, you guys seem to really enjoy the last few minutes, not just the um, typical five-ish minutes of Shavasana, but maybe even a little added to that for um, kind of a meditation type Shavasana. Yep, that's what, yep, I see Jeannie's giving me a thumbs up. Yeah, I'm getting DJ, yeah, I've gotten some feedback. You all really have enjoyed that. So we'll do that as well. Um, I'll be sure to keep an eye on the time as not to rush through the end for um, uh, to save us some time for meditation. So whether you're seated on the floor, like Lisa, BJ, or BJ, I think you are too, or you're in a chair, perfect. Just go ahead and just kind of find your space, right? Wiggle around, find those sit bones, try to pull your shoulders right over your hips, and you're just feeling the support of the floor, of the chair, wherever you're at, right? The, your feet, on the floor, maybe your legs are on the floor, nice tall spine, go ahead and engage your core. So as much as we can engaging our core, even when we're just out, you know, and you're out and about and, you know, whatever you see someone coming, you're like, oh, I'm gonna suck, I'm gonna suck in and, you know, <laughs> you know, to look really good, we suck in real quick sometimes. Try to hold on to that because that core engagement all the time is working your core. All right, so go ahead and draw that low belly in, sitting up nice and tall. Close your eyes. Take a nice breath in through your nose. Doesn't have to be huge. And then right back out your nose. Again, breathe in. And out. And this third breath, see if you can fill up a little bit more, taking a little bit more air in. Pause at the top of your breath and then open your mouth, let it go. Keeping your eyes closed, notice. Notice everything around you. And consider with that last big breath and maybe shoulders drop down a bit, got a little heavy in the hips, you are here, right? Just consider you have landed, you have arrived, you're in your space, ready to do a little bit of movement, some breath, and then some quiet and stillness at the end of the practice. We take it all in in the beginning, everything around us, any sounds or noises, maybe you notice um, anyone else in your, in your house, anything going out on outside of your house, any smells. And we take it all in now in case those things um, become amplified, right? The dog, the uh, partner walking in and out. And then we're not so, you know, 
taken aback by it. We acknowledge it. It may have been a little bit of a distraction, but not enough to pull you completely out. Maybe just for a moment and then you just bring yourself right back in. All right, guys, let's start moving just around through our necks. So again, on your next inhale, I want you to lift your chin up towards the ceiling. And on your exhale, bring your chin back down. Nice, slow, gentle movements. Now on your next inhale, I want you to roll your right ear over to your right shoulder. Coming back to center, maybe on your exhale. And then on your next inhale, left ear to left shoulder. So we're gonna go through this little sequence about five times, come back to center. Inhale, slowly lift, chin goes up, throat opens. And then right back down, chin towards your chest. And then just continue with that now, here we go, right ear to right shoulder. You can link your breath with the movement Coming back to center, maybe on the exhale. Rolling to the left on an inhale, pausing, holding there to the left as long as your inhale lasts and then coming back to center. Or just keep your breath moving. And then on that next inhale, lifting your chin back up. It's about our third time. Keep cycling through this Rolling right to left, lifting up and down. And then notice as you stay in it and you keep breathing, do you roll a little further over to the right? Do you roll a little further over to the left? When you lift your chin on those last couple of times, can you lift a little higher, open your throat a little bit more? Tilt your head back a little bit more, really getting that compression in that cervical spine. And then just the opposite. Can you tuck your chin into your chest a little tighter? Doing just the opposite, right? Opening up through that cervical spine. All the while, noticing, observing what's happening. How do you feel right around your neck? Those upper traps, getting a little stretch and length. And you feel complete in lifting up and going right to left. We'll meet. Just sitting up nice and tall, straight, looking forward. Hands can just stay right in your lap. Good, all right guys, let's start working through those shoulders. Let's just begin with a nice big inhale as you lift your arms up towards the ceiling. Take a big breath in, really reach. Exhale, arms float down. Really good, nice. Take your arms up to a T. Yeah, good. Pull those shoulders kind of back and down. Good, and then go post. Inhale, you bring those arms together. Good, exhale, come back. Again, together as you're breathing in or out, it doesn't matter, just keep your breath moving. Open up, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Good, three more, breathe in tight. Breathe out, open, two more, looking good guys. One more. And open, bring those arms back out to a T. Inhale, shoulders roll forward, good. Palms face down, 
Exhale, pull the palms up, roll the shoulders back. Keep going, five of these. We'll build a little heat in our shoulders. And back, good, three more. You got it, guys. Keep breathing. You guys feel a little heat, a little work up in those shoulders yet? Good, that's always good. I think this is number four. If it's not, we'll get a bonus. All right, one more time. Roll forward, roll back. Good, bring your arms up, breathe in. Exhale, float those arms down. Good, all right, scoot yourself out a little bit. If you need to get to the end of, uh, towards the edge of your seat. So we're just kind of slowly working our way down. Let's work a little midline here. All right, so we're gonna start first with some big circles. We've done this plenty of times. Just making those great big circles, lifting up off of those sit bones. When you go to the left, to the front, to the right, digging in when you go behind you. Yeah, bringing some life, midline, right? Waking up that digestive tract. Then pause at some point and reverse it. Keep breathing. Remember your breath. Yeah, that's something we're working on too. So just notice it and just keep it moving. There's no right or wrong what your breath looks like. Just keep breathing. All right, one more big full circle. And then we're gonna make it and turn it into those little bitty moves. Okay, so arms for some reason, I'm just, my arms always seem to land like this. Now we're gonna really ground into our sit bones and just twist to the right, twist to the left. So start out gentle, right? Especially if this is your first movements of the day, you might notice those big muscles that run along your spine, those big lap muscles might be a little tight. So just move at your own pace and then See if you can pick up the momentum of the twist a little bit more. Remember, you can always add those little short bursts of breath in and out. So the Kundalini posture going in and out, quick, short breaths, kind of matching the movement. Good, guys. Let's say we'll keep going with this for five, four, Three, two, and one. Nice. All right. Got that nice twist in. Let's build on it. Doing great, BJ. Inhale, reach up. You're all doing great. <laughs> reach up, reach up. We're going to take a little twist to the right. So remember, open arm twist. Left hand can come on the outside of your right thigh. Right hand can hook onto the back of a chair or on the uh, floor behind you. Just all to create a little resistance in your twist. Stay and breathe. And remember every inhale, we're trying to create length as if the crown of your head could keep pulling up to the ceiling and then your exhale, ex, excuse me, exhale is powering the twist open, maybe a little deeper. Good guys, come back to center, nice and slow. Reach up, we're gonna go to the left. And nice smooth twist. Hopefully Joe will get that out of his system um, while we're talking. Let me bust it. Guys, stay for another full breath in and a full breath out. Slowly bring yourself back to center. Nice, guys. All right. We're going to take that little hip opener. 
So it doesn't matter if you are seated, you're gonna still cross your right ankle over your knee. And what you can do is take your hands behind you to kind of lean back. If you're in a chair, you're just gonna cross your right ankle best you can over your knee. And if your legs are out, if this is a little too much, Lisa, perfect. Keep that left leg long and just cross over at some point on your left leg. Doesn't have to be your knee, it can be down at your shin. Right, it's just kind of opening up to sitting and breathing, just noticing what's happening in your hips. And if you get to a point, you've been here for a couple breaths and you're not feeling much of anything, option, lean forward. If you're seated, just lean into it. Feel that a little bit more, a little bit deeper. And that's what, you know, we're trying to stay, I always hesitate to say in, um, in a place of discomfort, but kinda. <laughs> you know the stretch, the lengthening is active as long as you can feel it, right? So if you don't feel anything, move your body where you do feel it. You got it guys, stay for just a few more breaths. Again, going back to that noticing and observing, where do you feel tight? Channel your breath, remember the, the power of your breath. Get real specific, send it where you feel that tightness. All right, my friends, slowly switch sides. Crossing left ankle over your right leg at some place, some point. You may notice the side may be a little more open, maybe tighter. Yeah, so that big difference, I can see that. Right, just for most of us, we do have one side a little tighter than the other. That's okay. Just keep breathing. One more big full breath in. Full breath out. Slowly bring that leg down. Take your legs out in front of you and just give them a little bit of a shake. Shake it all out. Good. All right. And now we will come to standing. Okay. So we're going to flow through some. Um, chair poses, some chair twists. We'll take a couple big forward folds. Um, remember, let me speak to that forward so, for, fold so we can just keep flowing right into it. Remember when I say, we'll take our legs wide and we'll go down for a side facing forward fold. Remember your hands option can go all the way down to the mat. If you have a block, they can go down to the block, a big fat book. Perfect. If that ever makes you feel lightheaded or the least bit uncomfortable, remember another option is just to take your forearms on top of your knees. Even your hands on your knees will still give you, um, I think, enough access to let your head hang heavy. And that's what we're trying to do here, just to pull and lengthen through our spine. All right, guys. We... Are going to start with prayer flow and remember have that chair close by if you need it perfect you can always put one hand on it um, for a little stability all right feet are about hip width distance remember it's still grounding down right we press our feet down into the floor into the mat all to tap into that energy to travel up our legs into our hips all the way into our bodies take a big breath in reach up to the ceiling 
Bring your hands at prayer. Exhale right down the center. Good. Here we go. Breathe in. Reach up. Exhale. Float those arms down. Again. Inhale. Lift. Exhale. Breathe in. Reach. And breathe out. Arms float. One more time. Inhale. Fill up. Fill up with what you need. Hands of prayer coming down as if you could push out anything not serving you. Inhale again. Breathe in. Lift. Exhale. Arms come down. All right, guys. Here we go. Keeping those feet hip width distance. Always the option to bring your big toes to touch. A little space between your heels if you'd like. Feels a little better in my low back to keep my feet hip width distance apart. Softening in your knees. You're going to inhale, reach up, chair pose. Sinking those hips down as if you were sitting back into a chair. So we won't, don't want you leaning forward. We, want, we don't want knees over feet, over toes. I want you to be able to look down and see your toes. Pull that low belly in and up. Take another breath. This time, right arm on that exhale will come behind you. Take your gaze with it. So look at your right thumb. Come back to center, chair pose. You got it guys, take a breath in. Left side, left arm swings back, right arm reaches forward. And back to center. Good job guys, you got it. Here we go, right side. Open arm twist. And back to center, trying to keep your knees in one line. Left arm goes back. So you may not be able to twist as big. Great, who cares? It doesn't matter. Back to center. You got it, guys. One more time. Remember, we're building some heat, right? Getting that little fire in our belly going. Back to center. And breathing, stoking it, right? Making it bigger, making it hotter. And back to center. You're still in your chair pose. Sink down, stay for five. Four, you got it. Three, two, take a fo forward fold with your feet hip width distance. So this is our first forward fold. So I want you to treat it like ragdoll. Option to hold opposite elbows or literally like a ragdoll, just let your arms hang heavy. And what I want you to check in with is your head. Do you have any kind of crease in the back of your neck? So I really want you to let that head hang heavy. There it goes, BJ. Yep, Sabet, good. Make some little circles with your head. Maybe nod yes and no. Always ending on a yes. You guys are always a yes for me. Good. All right, now press into your feet. Again, come into that grounding. Low belly, lifting in and up. Slowly bring yourself all the way back up to standing. Arms at your sides, taking your time. Yeah, remember, if you ever feel lightheaded coming up from a fold, sit down, just get low to the ground and just drop your head. All right, guys, we're going to go through that again. I know, right? So much fun. Let's do it again. All right, here we go. Inhale, reach up, chair pose. Exhale, right side. Now you can add breath to this. You can come back on your inhale to chair. Exhale, left side. Back to center. Just keep your breath moving, whatever that looks like, to the right. Trying to keep those hips as low as you can, right? Feeling that fire building in your legs. That's what's supposed to happen, right? That's the pose doing its job. It's working. 
You got it, guys. One more time to the left. We'll meet back at center. Sink your hips as low as you can. Here we go for five, four, three, two, one, another forward fold. Good. So funny. So I see three of you in a forward fold and I see three ceiling fans. <laughs> looking good, guys, looking good. <laughs> opening through your spine. Yeah, whenever you can take the rag doll or call it a, a big forward fold, whatever, getting that nice big opening all the way from your tailbone to the back of your head, that's a good thing. All right. Pressing through your feet, drawing your core in, pull yourself up, come to standing arms at your side. Good job, guys. Good job. All right, let's get a little equanimity in here. We're going to come into eagle on the right side. Right arm under, right leg over, whatever that looks like. Remember, you can cross it over, wrap it around. You can keep your toes on the floor right next to the outside of your left ankle. Kickstand. You can keep it lifted a tiny bit off the floor. Just keep that foot active. Breathe. And then notice, you feel like your shoulders have jumped up in your ears. Pull those shoulders back and down. Active fingers, active core, and that standing leg, you're pressing down. All right, here we go, left side. Just as few movements as possible, just go to the left. Left arm under, left leg over. Keep breathing. Okay, one more time, right side. And left side. Whew. I don't know about you guys. I'm definitely building a little heat over here. That's good. And slowly unwind. Shake out those arms. Good, yeah. Let's go ahead and roll those shoulders back, up, back, and down. Loosening up, continuing with that good circulation, and then roll forward. All right. Nicely done. All right, guys, down to the mat. And let's meet um, Let me think what time. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, start in tabletop. Make sure we have enough time for meditation. Land in your tabletop, literally the shape of a table, right? Hips over knees, shoulders over elbows, over wrists. And then begin cycling through cat and cow. So remember, 
I want you to, again, that observing and noticing, stay in that traditional cat and cow, lifting forward, chin up, rounding shoulders, pressing up cat for a few breaths. And then no, you have freedom to add in anything else that feels good. Maybe the big hip circles, bringing those hips down and around, raising your heels, maybe shoulder circles, right? If those wrists are feeling tight, remember you can turn those fingers all the way to face the back of your mat and lean away from those wrists, big opening. Good, Lisa. Good, Carol. Yep, I see you guys adding in. I love that. Good, Jeannie. Yeah, you do not need to hear a cue from whoever's teaching. You don't need permission. You just put it in. You put in what feels good. Now I want you to add in that nice big calf stretch at some point, whenever you feel complete running through, cycling through those cat cows, you're gonna extend your right leg behind you. Tuck your toes. Remember, keep your toes on your mat. This is the one where you're just gonna soften that heel down. Feel that big stretch in your calf muscle. And go to the other side whenever you're ready. Yeah, toes are tucked. You're just keeping your toes on your mat. Softening that heel down. Good, nice guys. Bring those knees back together. Take your right hand forward, thumb points up. Remember, as if you're gonna shake someone's hand, take your left leg behind you, flex your foot, point your toes down, straight down. Breathe and stay, right? We like to keep it simple. Just breathe, just stay. Simple doesn't always mean easy. All right, here we go. Stay with it the best you can. Take that right arm out to a T. It doesn't have to be real far. And then take your left leg towards the left. Just try to keep it lifted. It doesn't have to go very far out to the left. Hold three, two, one. Back to center, lift your arm, lift your leg. Lower down, take a breath. Good work. Good work, yeah. Taking those arms and legs out to a T, whoo, it's gonna force you to use core or you're just gonna fall right over, right? And if you do fall right over, great, just come right back up. Okay, other side, left hand forward, right foot back, toes point down, yep. So you're engaging, right? Muscle engagement by that active hand, those fingers firing up your entire arm, that back foot flex, toes spreading apart. You're creating all that energy, that tightness actually gives you more stability, gives you more control, almost creates a feeling of lightness. All right, engage your core, really get solid in your balance. Now take that left arm out to a T, best you can. Perfect, keep it active. And then that right leg out to the right. Stay and breathe. You got that. You got this. Engage your core. Low belly in and up. Stay for three, two, 
One, back to center, lift that arm and leg as high as you can and come down and take child's pose. Good work, guys, good work. Child's pose. Always available to you anytime throughout any practice. Consider it um, like home base. Your place to reset, catch your breath, and smooth out your breath. All right, guys, come all the way up and make your way to your back. All right, so before we come into bridge, we are going to work core a little bit more here and we're going to be get real specific and work oblique so side abs so your feet are on your mat knees are bent yeah and it's almost as if you were going to push up into bridge pose but instead what you're going to do is take your arms beside you palms face down on your mat yep and then we're gonna to try to reach our fingertips to touch each heel. So you're gonna lift up your shoulders and you're gonna reach for your right heel. We've done this before. And then you're gonna reach for the left heel and then back to the right. So you're really going to just be using those side ab muscles, right? Your hips are staying heavy. You're lifting up and you're reaching and you're reaching, keep going. You got it guys for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lie back, <clears throat> take a breath. So it's almost as if, so some of you are lifting your feet up. Um, and that's okay if that feels good in your body. But the other option, what we're doing here is almost as if you were sliding your right hand down your mat towards your heel. So feet stay planted, right? And then sliding your left hand down towards your left heel. So you're only, the only part of your body that's moving is you're lifting up through your shoulders and your chest. And then you're just kind of a little bit of a um, bend in the left a bend in the right okay here we go lift up and start reaching for those heels fingertips to heels here we go 10 9 8 7 6 good 5 4 3 2 and one good work good work bring both knees into your chest give yourself a big squeeze and then bring those feet back down to your mat for bridge pose press into your feet lift your hips up good we're gonna stay in this first one we're gonna hold <clears throat> Keep breathing, keep pressing down through your feet, engage your glute muscles, squeeze tight. You got it guys, it's gonna be a 30 second hold this first one. And then after this one, we're gonna do just a little bit of a lower tap and then right back up. You're almost there and come all the way down. Good work. All right, now here we go. Just keep with my cue. Lift up, squeeze tight, lower down. Bare little bitty tap, go right back up. As soon as your 
and down. As soon as you touch the mat, lift right back up. Good, nice. And every time you lift up, squeeze your glutes. Come down and right back up. Down and right back up. Good, keep going. You got it, guys. Yep, really squeeze and press your hips up. Yeah, with a little bit of force, some muscle, use it. You got it, guys. Keep going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stay lifted, hold, squeeze tight, lift as high as you can. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower down. Good work. Take your left leg long, hug your right knee into your chest. Glute release. Take a big breath in. On your exhale, drop your right knee over towards the left. Come right into a supine twist. Try to keep that right shoulder anchored down to your mat. Final twist and a rinse. And come back to center. Take your right leg long. Squeeze that left knee into your chest. Pause right here. Get that release. And take a breath in. On your exhale, let your knee fall over to the right. And come back to center. Bring both knees in. Give yourself a big squeeze, full of love, full of acknowledging, taking time out, and getting on your mats. Shavasana. And just allow yourself to get comfortable here. And take up space, guys. Let your legs really fall out. Let your arms fall out. Close your eyes. Yeah, using any props, blankets, pillows, eye covers. Yeah, beautiful Lisa, she's getting her legs up. And doing your best to continue to stay right here in this space on your mat. You're considering this is part of your practice. And bringing our bodies into stillness. You know, we acknowledge that usually when that happens, our brains get real busy. So I want to invite you to think of a word that 
that you can focus on. And so I'll give you my, my word and the why behind it. So I know I told you last, guys, last week, I think um, I was getting a mammogram and um, you know how you guys know how that is. Once you've had a negative one, you're always on pins and needles. And it's usually not so bad because the day of the mammogram, you can see the radiologist, they read it and you know exactly, you know, you know the outcome right then and there, but because of COVID, they weren't doing that anymore. So I had to wait, <laughs> but fantastic news. All is good. Everything's clear. It looked great. And ever since then, I've been in a place of Thanksgiving trying to come from a place of thankfulness. So I want you to think of a word. And then I want you to pull in thoughts around that word. Our breath is all around us, just waiting for us to bring it in. Every time you take a breath in, think of your word and thoughts and feelings around that word as it comes in with each inhale, filling your body, filling your mind. And as your breath continues to come in, filling you up with that positivity from your word, any thoughts or feelings that oppose it, maybe see those feelings and thoughts attach to each exhale and it leaves your body and your mind. I've noticed when I make an effort to come from thankfulness, no matter what it is and what I'm doing, whether it's smiling at someone or making eye contact or hugging, or just a kind word, it just keeps you full of joy and of positive light, right? When the day gets busy and gets hectic or maybe things haven't gone as planned or you, you're finding some frustration in the day, go back to your word and go back to your breath, breathe it in. Allow yourself to fill up with it.
I'm going to invite you to hold on to your word for the rest of today and maybe take it into tomorrow. Consider that our thoughts and our actions are very closely related. As you continue these last few minutes of quiet and stillness, keep breathing in your word, your thoughts and feelings around it, and let it fill you completely. A nice deep slow breath in and out bringing back any movements wiggling toes and fingers taking your hands over your head a nice big full body stretch And draw your knees in and roll to your side. Bring yourself up to seated with your hands in prayer at heart center. Take a big full breath in. A big breath out. Bring your thumb tips to your third eye center. Thankful. I am so very thankful. And one of the things I am thankful for is each one of you. Namaste.